Well, it doesn't get bigger than this. India take on the might of Australia in the Cricket World Cup on Sunday at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad. Well, India will look to add to the two World Cup victories we already have and narrow the gap with the Aussies who are sitting with five wins. Well, the Indians have been in solid form so far. Ten wins in ten games. And in the group stage itself, we knocked out the Aussies. In fact, we won by close to around six wickets with nearly 50 balls to spare. India will also look to settle the score. Remember, in the past, we had lost to Sri Lanka in 1996. We came back strongly and in 2011, we lifted the cup. Similar is the case with regard to Australia. Well, I recall in 2003, we lost to the Australians and Saurav Ganguly's men, well, we fell a little bit short out there. But this time around, 2023, they'll be counting on coming and avenging that particular loss. Well, let's get to a couple of data points then, which I'm actually clinching on to because history favours the team that hosts the World Cup to go ahead and lift the World Cup. And that's what's happened in the last few World Cups. So hopefully, 2023 as well goes according to that tone. Another factor that uh, we will be looking at is that, in fact, you know, if India plays the semi-finals on a Wednesday, we normally win the cup. It happened in 1983, it happened in 2011, hopefully it happens in 2023 as well. Now, the toss, well, it could be vital, right? Because if you look at it, well, in the World Cup finals, four out of the total number of times, well, the team that has chased has won. So that's a lower proportion in comparison to the ones that bat first. But don't be so worried about the toss. India is anyway in fine form. And whether you're talking about the lowest possible score, we defended it in 1983 in a World Cup final. If you're talking about the highest run chase, we did that as well in 2011 when we went ahead and we chased close to 275 uh, runs odd. Well, going to the next data point then that we have for you on the screen, the champion, Virat Kohli, 711 runs, the highest run scorer in this World Cup so far. And Mohamed Shami as well, sitting with 23 wickets. He's the highest wicket taker. So both the highest run scorer and the highest wicket taker, both of them from Team India. Besides that, if you look at the batting, uh, you know, uh, top scorers out there, India have three of our champions in there. Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, who's been scoring and scoring at a very, very brisk pace. And you have Shreya Sayer as well, that scored more than 500 runs. For the Australians, David Warner as well as Mitchell Marsh, they have done pretty well and they'll be looking to really take on the Indian bowlers as well. But talking about bowlers, well, let's get the top bowlers from the Australian pack out. Adam Zampa, he'll be looking at spinning a web on the Indians, uh, uh, you know, come Sunday. He has 22 wickets so far. And Jaspreet Bumrah, a little bit, you know, subdued in the last couple of games. But still, he's got close to around 18 wickets in this World Cup uh, so far. Well, a couple of factors, a couple of points to ponder on. Will India look to change its, uh, you know, change the winning team? And maybe, in fact, go ahead and play Ashwin. Let's see whether or not some spin will, will uh, favour them. I don't think so, though. I think they stick to the winning combination. And has Surya Kumar Yadav you know, kept the best for the last? Does he want to come out and perform a big quick-fire innings come Sunday? So the stage is set. The big World Cup is here. And the finals are on Sunday. The odds are favouring India. And hopefully, in the next few days, India lifts the World Cup. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.